What happens is that, for instance, I take the underground and I'm on the platform, I'm ready to go on the tube and there are lots of people around. It's mm. very crowded and I feel really hot and then suddenly, out of the blue, I can feel really unwell. My heart is beating really, really fast. I feel that my breathing is really fast as well. Mm. And I have this feeling of being really light-headed. And that, mm. that goes really, really quickly, all, all in a matter of um, seconds. And I have difficulties thinking, oh, am I going to make it? I have this really urge of getting out of that yes. situation. And really, I'm looking at all the possibilities. Obviously, the brain goes really quickly. You know, how can I get out of here? And that could be difficult because I'm just thinking, oh, I have to go back upstairs. Will I make it? Can I make it through the stairs? I feel my, my legs are getting a bit numb. I'm not sure whether I can walk. And then what I would do, I would just sit down and breathe and think that I'm safe, that I'm okay, that it's fine. One day it happened in restaurant where, again, it was very crowded, very hot, and I fainted. So therefore I went and see my GP because I thought maybe there's something wrong with me. So I talked to him about all the symptoms, that the ones I've just described, mm. and also the fact that I feel that my throat is very dry. And after it happens, it can, the day afterwards, I feel really tired and exhausted. And, and he said to me, oh, well, that, that's a panic attack. I've experienced it. And in a mm. way, I'm glad I have. I said to my partner who was next to me, you know, I'm not feeling well. Oh, I'm, I'm not well. I'm not well. And he was there so he could hold me. Mm. Um, I know that next time if it happens, I will sit down just in case. But it's not frightening because all I ha what happened is that I just fainted and, and you, you just regain consciousness very quickly afterwards and there's nothing nothing else happening after, after that so that's fine mm. it's, it can be frightening if you have this feeling you're going to faint and it has never happened to you yes. but in reality once it has happened you feel much relieved because breathing is better and you know, the, the panic has, has stopped hovering from it so that's fine I realized that I had very similar symptoms for a few years already very similar again similar situation being somewhere in an enclosed space, mm. it's hot and it's crowded. Probably for the last 15 years, but this may have happened once or twice a year, and some year it wouldn't happen, and usually over the summer. I wasn't really worried about it, especially because I thought, you know, either it was just low blood pressure or I needed to eat something. I was associating it mm. with something completely different. Mm. I had no idea in reality what an anxiety and what a panic attack was. Mm. From my point of view, it probably comes from sometimes ha having these thoughts of that something bad is going to happen, but I don't know where these thoughts are coming from at that time, whether it's some something in my memory I'm not aware of, or whether it's just stress or exhaustion, I'm not sure, because I, you see, I don't feel stressed myself, mm. but maybe mm. I am. Um, since I've started doing the deep breathing, I've noticed I'm a bit more self-aware now that maybe I don't I, I don't breathe properly during the day, and that's probably because I'm not relaxed as much as I should during the day. That mm. could be a link as well.